The Dutch Walrus Class Replacement Program reached an important milestone according to the Ministry of Defense MOD, of the Netherlands. One year after the Dutch MOD announced a delay, the Submarine Replacement Program reached an important milestone. The announcement was made today by the Dutch MOD. Defense has reached an important milestone in the Submarine Replacement Project. The quote request is ready. This application will be sent to the three candidate yards in mid-November 2022. The yards are then expected to send their bids around the summer of 2023. The Ministry of Defense needs a few months to analyze these bids and then make a decision about the award. State Secretary Christoph van der Mayat wrote this to the House of Representatives today. The four in-service Walrus-class submarine will be replaced with four next-generation diesel-electric submarines. The three competing shipyards are Naval Group, Saab Kockums and ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems. The down selection of the three companies was announced via the B letter in December 2019. The four submarines are now expected to be in service in the 2030 IEs. Dutch State Secretary for Defense reiterated the importance of the program. It is an important project and a lot of money. That is why we did not take any chances with the request for quotation to determine what kind of submarines we want and how much we are willing to pay for them. In addition, we want the boat to be able to be armed for the boats to be delivered on time and for the Dutch industry to be involved in the construction and maintenance. This milestone heralds the next phase. The Dutch MOD also added that it was seeking long-range missile to be deployed from both the frigates and future submarines. The House of Representatives will be further informed about this need in 2023. The Dutch MOD also announced that the budget for the procurement program has been increased. This extra money is partly reserved in the defense budget for 2023. The Ministry of Defense has also freed up money by identifying a number of projects from the long-term planning for which the midlife update can be carried out later. Defense considers this acceptable for now, because the effect on operational readiness would be limited. The government believes the project is worth this investment.